Ladies and gentlemen, Star Trek Discovery is canceled after season five. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah. So, so here, here we, we are, are at, at Cosmic, Cosmic Book News, who has it all wrapped up for us with the uh, statement from PP. So, uh, yeah, Star Trek Dys Dysentery ending with season five. But hey, there's plans to celebrate it. Oh, thank God it's over. Oh, huh? yeah. So, the PP streaming service has announced that Star Trek Dysentery will end with the release of season five in early 2024. The series first premiered in 2017 and heralded the return <laughs> of scripted Star Trek television series. Well, hmm. Leading up to the final season, PP will honor Star Trek Dysentery's legacy <laughs> and groundbreaking storytelling over its last four seasons with year-long celebrations and appearances at key events in markets around the world. Yeah, everyone's going to be happy that it's finally over. Uh, Star Trek Dysentery is a perennial favorite on the service. Is it? Hmm. Near and dear to the hearts of legions of Star Trek fans, as well as all of us here at PP, said Tanya Giles, Chief Programming Officer at Paramount Streaming. The series and its incredible cast and creatives ushered in a new era, oh boy did it, for Star Trek when it debuted over six years ago. Embracing the future of streaming <laughs> with serialized storytelling, bringing to life deep <laughs> and complex characters <laughs> that dishonor Gene Roddenberry's legacy of representing diversity and inclusion. Well, it's nice of you to acknowledge, you know, what Star Trek always was. Just organically, you know, not showing it off and bragging about it all the time. And pushing the envelope with award-winning world-building. <laughs> <laughs> what world? <laughs> uh, this final season will see our beloved crew take on a new adventure. Well, that's a bold promise, isn't it? Yeah. And we can't wait to celebrate its end. <laughs> Uh, celebrate the series' impact on the franchise. Yeah, boy, the massive gaping wound that it will leave upon Star Trek. Uh, so anyway, executive producers and co-showrunners Alex Kurtzman and Michelle Paradise blamed each other. I <laughs> uh, know they issued a uh, shared statement as lifelong fans of Star Trek. <laughs> uh, yeah. It has been an immense honor and privilege to help destroy Star Trek with Star Trek Dysentery. <laughs> the Trek universe means so much to so many, yeah. Including us, really? Well, that's news. And we couldn't be prouder of everything Dysentery has contributed to its legacy. Particularly with representation, i.e. tokenism. If one person sees themselves or the possibilities for their future <laughs> in a new way because of dysentery, then we think we've, we'd have we have made Gene Roddenberry very proud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course, there would be no dysentery without Sonequa Martin Green. Now, come on! Now, she showed up to play the role. Don't I, don't blame her for the creation of this. <laughs> That's on you guys. <laughs> Certainly, you, Alex. Ah, uh, boy. It uh, wouldn't be any dysentery without Sonequa and the extraordinary team of artists, both in front of and behind the camera, who have brought this show to life. Their passion and determination to make every episode special, <laughs> oh boy, has been deeply inspiring. So too has their love and support for one another. And their genuine love for Star Trek. Yeah. 
dysentery has truly become a family over the years. And we couldn't be more grateful to be a part of it. Mm. To the fans around the world, we apologize. <laughs> no, uh, uh, thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Mm. A trek, if you will. Your love for these characters and your excitement for every episode. Oh, oh boy. Every season has meant the world to us. We can't wait. Oh, yeah. I can't either. For you to see what we've been working on for this final season. We appreciate your patience. <laughs> You'd better. <laughs> You've all had the patience of Job. In the meantime, and, uh, and trust us. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't anyone? Uh, when we say it'll be worth the wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been six years. <laughs> uh, we love you all. L-L-A-P. Are they trying to make that a thing? You know, they forgot the hashtag, I guess. Uh, I, I wonder if, uh, like, Alex was like, well, wait a minute, uh, that's not the letters for me, the force be with you. <laughs> well, the good news is uh, Star Trek dysentery will not live long and prosper. So, uh, so Sonequa gives her uh, required uh, remarks, <laughs> and, you know, oh, she's... So proud and happy to have been a part. And again, I don't hold the actors uh, as, as responsible as I would to the likes of uh, Alex Kurtzman. So, yeah. So, yeah. Just, hey, she looked uh, the best thing for her. She had a job all these years. That's the, the important thing. It's just too bad it was this. <laughs> so, anyway, let's see what uh, this David Stapp has to say. Uh, when we first talked about the return of Star Trek... <laughs> We all talked about how we didn't know Jack Squad about it, never liked it, but figured, hey, uh, can we milk this for something? Let's see. Uh, so we talked about the return eight years ago. Oh, boy, I've been, been working on this destruction for a long time. We never could have imagined the indelible impact <laughs> that Star Trek dysentery would have. And boy, did it. Right, David Stapp, president of CBS Studios. The series brought back a beloved global franchise. No. No, it didn't. Yeah. But uh, and just like its predecessors, <laughs> couldn't even do that either. <laughs> Dysentery honored Star Trek's legacy <laughs> of infinite diversity. Infinite. Well, if it's infinite, how do you... An infinite combination. Wow, boy, it's even more infinite than infinite. You know? Um, representing, of course, the best tokens we could find, uh, of what we could be as humans when we celebrate our differences. Hmm. Hmm. I, I didn't really see any differences celebrated on their superficial skin and genitals. That's about it. You know, uh, I'd like to thank Alex Kurtzman, of course. Oh, 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 yes. And Michelle Paradise. She's like, hey, I just came in to help out. I, I, it's all Alex. <laughs> you know. Who have led this show with heart, passion, and as fans themselves. <laughs> with vivid storytelling. Well, not so vivid uh, later on when you had to keep all the lights off. Because uh, you didn't want to show off the duct tape and stuff for the what was left of the sets because you you know didn't have any money anymore uh always ready to push boundaries yeah like those before them <laughs> no. and finally i'd like to thank this talented cast led by the brilliant sonequa martin green <laughs> she's like hey <laughs> whose leadership both on screen and off oh boy <laughs> she's like no 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 alex was the leader not, not me i just I just punched the clock. Come on, guys. I don't want the blame for this. And uh, has helped guide the way from day one. Yeah. Well, and there she is. There's the final uh, image for their final season. And uh, they could just have her stand there, you know. They had to have her hair whip around like like, like she's Medusa from the Inhumans on, in Marvel. Ooh, now there's a role for her. You know, they could race swap. Medusa. For the, of course, they did the Inhuman series, but it, it pooped bed, so they could just say this is a reboot. 
And, hey, huh? Huh? Well, unfortunately, I don't know. The MCU's days are numbered. Uh, not as much as Star Trek, but it, it it's on its way out at the rate they're going, you know. So anyway, what's this season going to be about? Oh, 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 man, it's a new adventure. So, hmm, that ought to be something, huh? So the fifth and final season will find Captain Burnham and the crew of the USS Dysentery uncovering a mystery you don't say. I bet it's red something. Look, there's like this red cloud around her red uniform. So, yeah, oh boy, red angel, red matter, uh, red bowl of cereal. You know, you, you just don't know. Red turd? Probably. Uh, the mystery that will send them on an epic adventure across the galaxy again to find an ancient power again whose very existence has been deliberately hidden for centuries again. <laughs> But there are others, again, on the hunt as well. <laughs> Dangerous foes uh, who are probably just misunderstood. And once they get together and talk it out, everything will be fine. You know, except for, you know, the straight white guy. Who are desperate to find the prize for themselves and will stop at nothing to get it. So, boy, that's that's brand new, huh? Yeah. Over the whole season, which, you know, when you think about it, Star Trek Dysentery was actually uh, only, uh, now we know the final count, so only five episodes just stretched out over several hours. <sighs> Agonizing long hours. Because the plot was just one idea. Oh, there's this thing. And we got to get the thing and figure out what the thing is. And more times than not, it's something to do with with Michael. Not all the time, but, you know, usually. Uh, will she be reunited with Spock, you think? Yeah. She'll be able to travel back in time. I don't see why not, you know, but... Anyway, so there you go. The, the, the whole gang is back. And uh, once again, CBS Studios. What <laughs> secret hideout? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh... Putting that final nail in the coffin. And uh, along with uh, Roddenberry Entertainment. Boy, if ever there was someone rolling in the grave. Yeah. So, uh, gee, if you missed out, you can catch up on PP. Just head over and get on PP uh, to watch the four seasons that are already available uh, of Star Trek Dysentery. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to be lost and miss out. Huh? <sighs> well, you got to hand it to them that they managed just to keep this whole thing going for, uh, for this for this long. When, you know, it should have been canceled, you know, in a, if the world was sane, right? <laughs> it made sense. It would have been canceled after the first season. But um, this is not a sane world, and things do not make sense. Uh, it's a nasty backstabbing corrupt world <laughs> but it is true nice guys finish last you know yeah anyway uh so uh are you excited are you on the edge of your seat <laughs> oh, i bet you are so uh get ready for the uh celebration of all things dysentery l l a p